Hey there comic book fans, I'm John Anderson and I just watched season 3 episode 1 of The Flash and I hate to say that it was just okay. Now if you haven't seen the episode or if you don't want any details on the Flashpoint comic, keep in mind I'm going to be going through key elements from both those media. So here is your spoiler warning. And there it goes. So obviously the episode can't borrow all the elements from the Flashpoint comic, given that it affects the whole DC universe, and the Flaro universe doesn't have access to characters like Aquaman, Wonder Woman, or Batman. So we see it only has the broad strokes of the structure of that story. The biggest difference between the two story structures, between the comic and the episode, Barry's the one that causes the Flashpoint paradox, and Reverse Flash is the one that wants to revert everything back to normal. Which leads me to my biggest concern with the episode is that Barry comes off very arrogant and naive as if he's not aware that there's going to be huge implications for creating this Flashpoint Paradox. I think Barry would have came off less selfish if he had made this mistake at the end of season 1 versus the end of season 2 because he's had multiple experiences with time travel and I think he would have learned that no good comes with tampering with the timeline. In terms of things I liked about this alternate timeline, we have Joe who's a lazy father because he wasn't given that initiative after Barry's mother had died. And since Reverse Flash wasn't able to take over Harrison Wells' body, we no longer have a Star Labs, but instead we have a Ramon Industries. The only thing I didn't like about this timeline is I felt like the character of Caitlin Snow felt very shoehorned in. And I think it would have been more organic if Caitlin was Sisko's girlfriend, as I thought she was the girl that was in the elevator with him. But as Barry starts to lose his memory and seemingly causes the death of this universe's Flash, which is Wally West, he feels guilty and wants to return the timeline back to where it was. Which in turn causes Joe and Iris to have a poor relationship in the present timeline, which I'm assuming is going to be one of many implications of that Flashpoint timeline. As well as creating the overarching villain for the rest of the season, who I'm assuming is going to be Alchemy, which has some relation to the rival character that we saw in the Flashpoint timeline. And I like how they revealed the identity of the rival so quickly. I think that's definitely a reaction to the fact that fans have felt that the first two mystery villains from the first two seasons was kind of recycled and this was definitely a change of pace. So that's my thoughts on season three, episode one of The Flesh. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of the episode and look out for my season five, episode one video of Arrow, as well as some potential news videos coming out of New York Comic Con. And as always guys, if you like this video, be sure to share and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook at John Ryan Anderson or on Instagram and Twitter at The Comic Look. And remember guys, as always, comics do deserve a second look.